So hopefully I'm not dating myself by showing a picture of a graphic equalizer here, okay? Um, but this was pretty cool back in the 80s, all right? And if you had one of those stackable stereo component systems and you wanted to fine tune your sound, then you also had as a part of your, you know, uh, kit, a, a graphic equalizer. And, and it, 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 if you bought a graphic equalizer and you set it like this, you were wasting your money, right? Because that was just flat. That was, you know, no fine-tuning your sound at all. But if you bought a graphic equalizer and you plugged it in and you, you could play with it like, like that, that's left channel and right channel, you could really fine-tune that sound, all right? On the left side of the scale was bass, and on the right side of the scale was treble, and everything in the middle was mid-range. And the more different levels you had, the more you could fine-tune that sound. And that was pretty cool, okay? So um, this is my effort to say, look, Mission Command is not a one-size-fits-all approach. If you try to go in every day and say, well, I'm practicing a philosophy of Mission Command and I'm setting my variables like this, and this is the way I'm going to lead, and you don't change it, you're not practicing a philosophy of Mission Command. In fact, every situation should cause you to adjust those settings each day, each event, each, you know, based on subordinate levels of competence, based on subordinate levels of experience, based on the trust that you've been able to establish, maybe not with your whole formation, but with parts of your formation. And all of that is a conditions-based approach geared towards enabling subordinate decision-making and allowing them the, 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 the open field running to, to get to decentralized execution appropriate to the situation. You're setting those conditions. You're, you're defining the left and right limits for that, that running room for your subordinates so that it's appropriate to the situation. In some cases, they may feel like they've got all sorts of room to run. In other cases, because you're attempting to mitigate some concerns like those that we've already talked about, you're going to close some of those uh, left and right limits in, or you're going to provide a little bit of support. You're going to run alongside them, potentially. You might even you know, pick them up and drag them. You know, it's all about the situation that you're in, and that's hopefully what my graphic equalizer, and these are really cheap now in pawn shops, if anybody now wants to go out and pick one of them up.